First at 5.30 at Target 12, investigators exclusive. The University of Rhode Island is being sued by a California software company alleging several employees at the university engaged in high-tech piracy. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. The company, Synopsys, alleges URI employees used counterfeit keys to thousands of times to access its software illegally. Synopsys is seeking up to $337 million in damages. Target 12 investigator Tali Taylor joins us now with the details. The lawsuit claims URI first started using Synopsys engineering software 15 years ago. Then in November, according to the suit, several URI employees began using counterfeit keys, which violates the company's software copyright. Synopsys Incorporated filed this lawsuit in the Northern District of California in January, alleging the University of Rhode Island violated the company's copyright. It states that Synopsys offers an academic program which allows URI to train students using the company's software. But according to the suit, multiple URI employees started using counterfeit keys to work around the company's access system, doing so over 135,000 times. In response, Synopsys claims the conduct was willful and done with knowledge of wrongdoing and demands a trial. Alternatively, Synopsys demands maximum statutory damages per violation, which would amount to $337.5 million. When reached for comment, a URI spokesperson said he couldn't comment because it's pending litigation. A Synopsys spokesperson said, the piracy that occurred on URI's campus last year was immediately halted and has been remediated. The university's actions serve as an example of the power of collaboration in combating users who attempt to thwart Synopsys license controls. A court filing earlier this month shows the two sides are in settlement talks. The hearing is scheduled for July 22nd in California. With the Target 12 investigators, Tali Taylor, 12 News.